Six months after investigators charged Alec Murdoch in the murders of his wife and son, he will face a jury. The double murder trial for the disbarred attorney starts Monday in Colleton County. Now we've been hearing about the Murdoch family ever since February of 2019 after a deadly boating accident killed a young woman and Murdoch's youngest son, Paul, was charged in her death. Then in June of 2021, Paul and his mother Maggie were found shot to death at the family property. Alec goes on trial Monday for those murders. Our own Ann McGill sat down with lawyer Mark Pepper for some perspective. Murder trials in South Carolina typically last a week or so, but Alec Murdoch's double murder trial is expected to run about three weeks. Attorney Mark Pepper says that's because all sides want to get it right the first time. Nobody wants to have to do it twice. Nobody wants to have to put the family through it twice, uh, or the defendant or the court system or, or another panel of, of jurors. So no matter how long this, this trial takes, I have no doubt that Judge Newman will make sure that he gets it, his rulings right, uh, that he allows in evidence that uh, is allowed to come in and he says no to others because nobody's going to want to have to do this way. Murdoch is accused of shooting his 52-year-old wife Maggie and their youngest son, 22-year-old Paul, the night of June 7, 2021. The murders made national headlines and although now disbarred, Murdoch comes from a long line of prominent attorneys in Colleton County. So, how do you find an impartial jury for this case in the county where most people know of the Murdoch family? Pepper says by questioning the jury pool extensively. How do you know the family? What relationships, if any, have you had? How do you feel about, you know, uh, if you read something, does that automatically make them guilty? He told me jury selection alone could take a week and jurors will hear gruesome details. Maggie was killed with a rifle, Paul with a shotgun, according to court documents. And just last month, the attorney general's office announced it would only seek life in prison if Murdoch is convicted. So why would the state take the death penalty off the table in this case? Pepper says there are a couple of reasons, including the length of time for a death penalty case. We're talking four weeks to try this case. If you seek the death penalty, you can add two weeks on the front of that and probably a week or two on the back of that. Uh, a lot of other pretrial motions would need to be filed. Murdoch's defense team consists of Jim Griffin and State Senator Dick Carputlian. Pepper says they are two of the best in the business and will captivate the courtroom. It's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be loud. Uh, some may even refer to it as a circus down the road. But that's their job. Their job is to say, what you just heard doesn't make sense, does it? He says they will be fighting every step of the way to show the state can't prove that Murdoch was the one who pulled the trigger. Y'all can't put the gun in his hand. Yeah, he had blood on his clothes. He was the first to find his wife and son dead. You're going to hear a lot of that. Pepper says the prosecution's case relies heavily on the motive for the murders. It argues Murdoch was in so much financial trouble that he sacrificed his family as a way to distract attention from his accusations that he had stolen millions. He says motive is an important matter for juries. Jurors are much uh, more receptive to uh, a verdict that's got to be unanimous for guilt when they can have a conversation within the room about, well, remember that guy testified as to why, and that makes sense to me. They want to have that, that talk, and you better give them something to talk about. The case has already received a lot of attention with an HBO Max documentary, podcast, and national news coverage, but Pepper doesn't think the trial will rise to the publicity level of some other high-profile cases. I don't know that it'll give uh, O.J. Simpson a run for the exposure and attention that he got being an ex-NFL player, Hall of Fame running back, uh, the salacious allegations, those types of things. Uh, but it certainly is a murder mystery for the century. In Charleston, Ann McGill, Live 5 News.